Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to create knotted necklace and to make one all you need is paracord, I'm going to use a black one today. On top of that, I'm gonna, this is the main piece that you will need. On top of that, I'm going to further decorate this necklace using beads. Now, because the paracord itself is very thick, if you do want to use beads to decorate it further, make sure that the beads have lar um, large opening um, in order for the thick paracord to pass through it. Aside from that, I will also use clasps, magnet clasps, to open and close the necklace. So let's get started. I folded my paracord in a half and each string should approximately be about 160 centimeters long and so I'm going to start my first knot further away from the beginning because this part will be used to wrap around the neck and close it in the back. So I'm going to set it to the side. Now it's always better to have a longer piece of string than a shorter one that would that would be too short in, um, for you to close it at the end. So I'm just gonna set the left side, the shorter piece, to the side and um, to make it easier for you to visualize how to create the first knot, I'm just gonna use a small piece of tape to keep the string in place. And I'm gonna work from now on, I'm just gonna work with the right side of the paracord, the longer piece. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna create a loop that will go underneath this piece of paracord. So just simply fold the paracord underneath. Now make sure that both strings do not flip on each other, okay? Make sure you keep them aligned, otherwise the, the knot won't work out. All right, so this is what you should have so far. And I'm gonna continue with this piece of paracord and I'm gonna put it under this loop here. So I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit and put it under. So now I have, so now I have something that resembles pre a pretzel. I'm gonna continue, now I'm just gonna place my finger on the first two junctions here to keep the um, structure together. And then I'm gonna use my middle finger to um, hold on to the third junction here. I'm gonna take my, the remaining of the paracord and I'm gonna wrap it around my pretzel here. So this is what you should have. And now I'm just gonna pass paracord under the first loop here and then above this piece and under that one. So it goes underneath above this structure here, this piece of cord, and then underneath and this piece of cord, and above this one. And the first knot is created. Now you just have to pull everything, the whole knot, you have to tighten up the knot. And the first knot is ready, this is how it looks like. And now, as I said, I'm gonna um, further decorate it using my uh, beads. So I'm gonna attach the first one. Now 
I'm gonna create a second one and and the formula for the second one is exactly uh, the same as for the first one. So again, I'm gonna create a loop underneath this string here. I'm gonna take the string and pass it under this loop right here. it up, pass it through. And again, I have a pretzel structure here. I'm gonna continue with my power cord, pass it around my pretzel here. All right, above this string here. And now to tighten up my knot, I'm gonna pass the remaining of the cord under, above, under, above. So it goes under, above, under, and above this one. So this is what you should have. And now tighten it up. And again, you have to play a little bit in order to push the knot closer to the first one. So you just play with the string, push everything closer, tighten it up. My second knot is ready. I'm gonna attach my second bead onto it and I'm gonna continue with four extra um, knots before I attach clasps to open and close the necklace. necklace is ready this is how it looks like this is the front and this is the back I used hot glue to attach magnetic clasps onto the end each end of the necklace to open and close it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun creating your own.